If you live near the woods, or maybe just a tree, then you live by squirrels. When many people see the typical backyard squirrel, they likely just see a common rodent that digs up their yards and eats nuts. But squirrels are actually an extremely diverse family of animals. Here is the story of the squirrel in a nutshell. Squirrels come in many different shapes and colors and inhabit every continent except Antarctica. Squirrels are all grouped together into a single taxonomic family called Sciuridae within the order Rodentia, so basically all squirrels are rodents, according to some estimates, there are around 285 species of squirrels in the world. Some of the most common species include the grey squirrel, red squirrel, and fox squirrel. Changes in the planet's climate and geography guided the evolution of squirrels. Squirrels first evolved in Western North America, and the earliest fossil evidence of squirrels was dated back to around 36 million years ago. One of the largest species of tree squirrel is the Indian giant squirrel. The Indian giant squirrel is a big colorful squirrel that is native to the forests of India. It displays multiple types of color patterns with shades of black, brown, and deep red to purple. It is a diurnal and mostly herbivorous squirrel. The tail of the Indian giant squirrel is typically longer than the length of its body. Another beautiful species of squirrel is the Eurasian red squirrel. The coat color of the Eurasian red squirrel varies from light red to black on their head and back with white fur on their stomachs. Like other squirrels, Eurasian red squirrels are skilled climbers. They have curved claws to help them scale up and down thick trees, slim branches, and houses. One of the most amazing squirrels is the flying squirrel. There are more than 50 species of flying squirrels. Flying squirrels do not fly, but glide from one perch to another. Their flight is made possible by a membrane or fold of skin that extends from their front feet to their hind feet. When their legs are outstretched, the skin stretches out to form a large surface enabling the squirrel to glide through the air. Glides of up to 450 meters have been recorded for some species of flying squirrels. Tree squirrels and flying squirrels prefer to live in heavily wooded areas with many trees to live in while ground squirrels choose to live in grassy habitats, such as open fields and pastures. Tree squirrels nest in the tree tops and in tree hollows made by woodpeckers, while ground squirrels typically burrow into the ground and build dens. Tree squirrels are one of the most important animals for helping trees spread, because they hide tree nuts in the ground and forget where the nuts are hidden. This allows the nut to sprout roots and eventually grow into a tree. Different squirrels that live in separate areas all help propagate the forests they live in. As you can see, it is not going out on a limb to say squirrels are a diverse and amazing group of animals. And when you think about all the varieties of squirrels and the many things they do for our environment, it really is nuts.